together online, worshiping together with us online. Would you please just do something? Would you please like and share the video? And immediately, yes. would you please just also begin to tell more people to come and watch right now? Because we are going to have a very, very special guest tonight. And this is Apostle Al Fornis. Together oh, yeah. with Dr. Ken and uh, our wonderful brother who will share together with us. Once again, welcome to the Psalm and the Great Awakening. And we are now on the day of 11 for the breakthrough. We are, we are talking about 100 days of breakthrough. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are talking about Praise 100 Jesus. days of breakthrough. And let me give you, give you a recap tonight before God's servant is going to speak to you the Word of God, something that God had laid in, in His heart, and He is going to sing and lead us in a time of worship. And that worship will bring us closer to the presence of God. Yes. And we are ready for a new journey with God tonight. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Jesus. Tell you one another and say, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, ready. Ready. I'm ready. I want to be closer to God. I want to be closer to God. Yeah, go ahead and say it right now. Okay. So once again, welcome to Psalm and the Great Awakening. And let me give you the 10 principles that for the last 10 days we talk about the breakthrough. First day of breakthrough, we are going to experience His unfailing love, not the sentimental love. Oh, that's, good. Okay. Oh, that's good word. So remember that better to dwell in His in God's love, is unfailing love. Mm -hmm. Men's love will fail us sometimes. Oh, yes, yes. Okay? Yes, and especially the sentimental love is only temporary. It cannot last for long. And day two of breakthrough, we said we are going to hold on to His promises instead of human promises. That's good. Amen. Hallelujah. God has thousands of promises for you. So man can promise us a few promises, but God will fulfill thousands of promises in our life. And this is the reason why that we are going to see that we are on the wind. Someone Amen. turn to one another said that we are on the wind. Yes. Amen. <laughs> because one promise after one promise, we are going to have the victory. Amen. Thirdly, on day three, we talk about turn to God and not to truck. Amen. When you are in the problem, situation, whatever, some of you are in truck right now, remember, turn back to God and not to truck. Truck can only destroy your life, but God is going to give you a life of abundance. Fourthly, day four, and the fourth principle of breakthrough is that affliction is a growing opportunity, not a backslidden one. Ooh, Amen. Yes. Okay. Then, then whatever the affliction, the suffering that you're going through, remember in those moments, you will know God more. You will Amen. understand His Amen. better. Hallelujah. You will begin to know that He's going to heal you, deliver you, save you, and bless you abundantly. Day number five, and the fifth principle of breakthrough is that look upon his compassion and not on man's pityness. Yes, that's they can good. take advantage of us, but look for his compassion. And his compassion will last from generation to generation. And his compassion will never fail. And the Bible said that wherever Jesus went, he has compassion on the life of the people and miracles that take place. Amen. Mm -hmm. Their life changed forever. Yes, yeah. So all the other thing that we have been sharing is in Psalm 115. Okay, And we go from A, B, C, D with that. And the fifth principle tonight, uh, after that, we also talk about other principles. Is that love His way and not the way of the world. That's oh, good. That's yeah. another principle for you to break through. Some of you very, very much in this world. You love shopping. You love do this kind of thing in the world. And the world has thrown you into the way of the world. And now you lost. But come back to Him. And number seven. Living in purity and not in sin. Amen. Somebody will say amen, amen to that. Amen. And if you are the one who lives in sin, better to go back to the purity. Purity will save our life. Maybe sometimes we have the peer pressure and people say that, you don't go with me, you're out. You don't go with me, we are no longer in the relationship. You are right. no, you don't go with me, you lost your job, you lost your position, you lost your benefit. Really and good. men can say like that, but when you know that what they are leading you to sin, then you better say, I'm going to live in purity and God's word. And another is that open our eyes so that we Amen. can see. Oh, that's good. And that's open our spiritual eyes so that we are not going to see the negative. Mm -hmm. We're not going to see that the situation cannot change. We're yeah. not going to see that our life cannot be better. But when God yeah. opened our eyes, and I share with you about the servant of Elijah and many other stories. Number nine, meditate on God's deed and not man's deed. That's Hallelujah. Good. Hallelujah. Yes. God's deed are great and powerful. And number ten. Give me an understanding, not ignorance. That's really good, yes. Okay, yes. without any further delay, I don't want to take more important time of God's servant, but let me focus 
we shoot today in day 11. And this is the 11 principle of breakthrough oh, Lord. along the line of 100 principle of breakthrough. And you can see that in Psalm 19 from verse 81 to 87. But the topic that I'm going to tell you very simple tonight is like this. You know that? Look for God comfort. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's it. Just look for God comfort. His comfort is limitless. His comfort is powerful. Let me read for you one scripture only. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When you are in a fray, when you are afraid, God is your comfort. When you are in need, God is your comfort. When you are in loneliness, God is your comfort. When you have a problem, God is your comfort. You can name it. And I will leave this time. And let us welcome God's servant. Apostle Alphonis and Dr. Ken Smith yes. and our wonderful brothers. What an honor to have you here yes, and Lord. to so come. It's an honor of mine, I'll tell you. And I'm Thank telling you, be ready. Turn to one another and say, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. ready. <laughs> Thank you, sir. God bless you. I, uh, uh, Apostle, I just want to ask you one quick question. You were sharing with us earlier in the break room as you were preparing for this and the other shows that you're going to be doing. And by the way, he'll be back next week, next Friday the 18th with uh, Marketplace and Authority with myself. Amen. Uh, Apostle, you were sharing those Psalms, or uh, you said in um, Romans 10, 15, you said, blessed are the feet that uh, uh, the feet that preach the gospel, that the atmosphere literally change. You were praying for some of us in the back room. That yes. We saw miracles, the word of knowledge, you spoke this on other shows, how the word of wisdom came into, and the atmosphere shifted mightily. Can you explain that? Yes. Uh, when, when God begins to use use his his uh, i call it disciples which we are yes god says he sends us you know he, those who he sends he equips oh that's good so when when we begin to be sent to whomever and whatever okay uh the holy ghost is with you and what happens is angels are always around us Ooh. and it begins to bring what bring <coughs> heaven here on earth Ooh. and so what we were feeling was the presence of heaven, oh. it was as though the oh, the the I call it the windows of heaven were open, yes. and was pouring down yes. presence. Amen. I call it theophany, the visible presence of the Lord. Ooh. You felt that? Yes. Yes. Yeah, shout out to the, the present was so strong, it was like you could cut it with a knife. It was Amen. so powerful. And the healings and the words that you said, I just spoke volumes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much. You know, the Bible tells us. Uh, man of God, that that we can ask this, and this is what I found, and I said, enlighten my eyes that I might see. Okay. What does it mean, and I share this with all of you, what does it mean to enlighten my eyes? I said, Lord, open my eyes that I might see in the supernatural. Ooh. Mm. Allow me to hear what I have not heard. Mm. Because I don't want to know how good I am or how good you are, or that you are uh, you are like King David or Queen Esther. Mm -hmm. You know, that is not going to propel me to a greater work with God. Mm -hmm. But if you can show me where my donkey is, st is being stored up for me, or if you can show me where my ram in the thicket is, oh. then it, cha it can change my life. Mm -hmm. So it should be instructional, okay. directional. Okay. It should give a word that is about your life and what God wants to do with it. Mm. But if it's going to be, and I always say it this way, it's kind of funny, but I always say, listen, I, I am not a baker, and you surely are not a donut. Oh. Oh, okay. So I'm not going to be sprinkling with just nicey nice things. Right. I'm going to give you what is going to change you. Yes. And that's when I ask God, God, enlighten my eyes that I might see, mm. so that what I see was in the supernatural, what? For them. Oh. Give me where the seeds have been planted. Give me where the root, when it started, how it how it began to take root. So that we can go there and in the name of Jesus uproot what is what what started and what you're now, I call it like what just happened yes. in the in the, I call it the, the back room. They didn't even know. No. When you spoke the word of the Lord, they said, Oh, I didn't even know that. You had to walk them through it. Yes. And, and and look what happened. They get delivered. Yes. Oh, it was powerful. I was just overwhelmed. How Even the, the, the people you pray for were shocked that you said that. It sounded so simple. We were all like, even the recipient was like shocked and saying, what has this got to do with any of it? But as you spoke it out, it 
it, it involved a tour God was showing her and she got healed. Well, Hold you know, up. it's like this, uh, Dr. Ken. The, the, I have always asked God, God, teach me by your spirit. Yes. I, I, I know that man teaches and we teach one another, mm -hmm. but greater is yes. the Holy Ghost yes. that begins to reveal, this reveal and unfold the meaning and what he really, really is saying. So, right? Say amen. Yeah, amen, amen. And so let me share this. I know I was talking to him. Yeah. I'm going to talk to you now. <laughs> but let me share this with you. As I have asked God, God, enlighten my eyes that I might yes. see. It was so that I can understand in the supernatural, because this is where God is. God is not in the natural. He's in the supernatural. We have a supernatural God. Ooh. And so because of that, what we need to pine for, what we need to ache for, is for more of the supernatural. Mm -hmm. You need to begin to, to ask God, God, reveal to me the oracles of heaven. Ooh. And I'm going to type for one year mm -hmm. in the book of Ephesians... I had asked God, how do I get closer to you? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you what he said. What he says, go to the book of Ephesians in chapter 1, in fact, chapter 3. And, and, uh, and, and, and in that, he says, now change, change it to you rather than to them, to me, to my. Just change it to really? you. Okay. And so yes. I, 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 and I did this for one year straight every night. Mm -hmm. But there's a, well, there's a, there's a scripture right here that it says, and this is in chapter 3, Ephesians chapter 3, 16. And it says that he, that it says he would grant, I said, that he would grant me according to, in, uh, according to in the riches of his glory to be in a uh, strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. Mm. I said, Father, Father, I want you to, increase my inner man Amen. let me know your power mm. let me be able to walk and say thus saith the Lord yes, let me do. be able to to hear in the spirit when to go and when not to go let me be able to look into somebody by the spirit and know exactly you might say pray for my liver but God said it's not the liver it's the heart you did that oh my goodness you yes, see yes, why yes. pray amiss yes what, 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 what are we doing? Are we, are we really representing and working for God, oh. or are we working for man? That, did you hear that? Write that one down. That's yeah. good, sir. Because so many people, are, and I'm not downing on anyone, no. but I am saying this is not the hour. God says, even as we spoke, I uh, spoke yesterday on um, 1 Samuel 6, 6. That was good. Right? Mm -hmm. What about the, the guys, with, God was taking uh, Milkine and yoking them together. That's good. But see, he says these words. He says, but you must take the calves of them back to the barn. Oh. Remove them. Listen, this is the hour that God is not oh. going to support you that, that want not to not to want to be better. He's not he says, I, I don't have no he, there is no more time left. No. To to just always have come to the altar and pray the same thing. Oh, that's good. But yet you have not changed. That's All it. Right. Is everybody listening? That's All really right. good. They have not changed. They have prayers. not changed. Or they'll say, listen, I need to diet. I'm just making this. this Please. But I need to diet. And I, Lord, help me to be able to diet. But you go to the market every day and you buy yourself a cake. Oh. Well, you oh. place that, tempta that temptation on yeah. yourself and say amen. Amen. But I'm going to give you a, a revelation. This is a good one. Please. I remember once I struggled. How many of you have ever struggled in your life? Are you out there? If you've ever struggled, raise your hand and say, I struggle with this, that. It doesn't matter what it is. Mm -hmm. But I struggled and I was in the shower crying out to God. Mm -hmm. God, help me. How do I change me? Amen. Watch these words. Because I like what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, some of you know what I'm talking about. I, 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 I but oh. I like what I'm doing. <laughs> yes, amen, amen. And I don't want to change, but I know I need to. No. And God says to me, "I want you to do what my son Jesus did." Mm -hmm. He said those words. So I went in the Bible, and I, after I'd taken the shower, I went in the Bible, and I kept on looking, and I was going through different places, and He said, "Not there, not there, not there, not there, not there," mm -hmm. and so. So then all of a sudden he says, go to the beginning. So as I'm going now to the beginning of Jesus' walk here, right. I found a place where Jesus was in Gethsemane, when he was praying to the Father. Mm -hmm. And remember when he even said to, to his Father, Lord, 
Take this cup from me. Oh, that's good, yes. Take this cup from me. In other words, he was saying, I can't do oh, it. Oh, wow, that's a good principle. And so he says, now son tells me, do what my son Jesus did. And I kept on reading it. Well, he just says he can't do it. He goes, continue to, I kept on reading it and reading it. He said, read it again until I got the revelation. What God was really saying, he said, do what my son did, exactly what he did. So when Jesus said, I cannot do it, what does he say right after that? Oh. Nevertheless, say never, never, the, the, less, less. Turn to someone and say never, never, the, the, less. less. You know me go like, this. people go like this, nevertheless. No, no, no. Never, never, I will choose the less. Oh, that's good. I will choose not the less. Never the less. And what Jesus was saying, I know that if I chose for me, it would be less. Oh, but I choose for you. So never what? The less. He says, not my will, but thy will. When I read that, God then would get, stop me and said, do you understand that? Let me explain something to you. I love you so much that I give you the opportunity mm -hmm. at all times to have a choice to love me back. Mm -hmm. oh, that's good. I don't make you love me. Mm -hmm. I want you to love me. So because I'm the God that I say I am, I cannot go past your will. I can't make you do something. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. He says, go do what my son did. So all of a sudden I read it again. I said, wait a second. He said, nevertheless, the Lord says, mm -hmm. not my will, right. but thy will be done. In other words, when you want God to do something that you know you can't do, that's when you say, God, I give you my will. Go past my will and do what you need to do. That's take what out what you, Yes. Mm -hmm. Take out what you need to take out. Remove what needs to be removed wow. because I can't do it. I like it, but I know it's not good. So remove it from me. You know what he says? I can only do this because you just gave me right. Amen. You proved that. In the Did you room. see? Yes. yes. And, and they kept saying, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. And you gave that scripture power or powerful. You see, and what happens? She gets the Yes, her. yes, uh, yes. She gets the yes. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Good word, Apostle. Very, Thank very you, good. Jesus. Do you think we can coach you into a song? I know oh, we got a little bit of time. Goodness. Maybe a song and maybe you can continue teaching us? I would love that. Okay. You want me to sing like right now? Uh, you're, you're calling. <laughs> How do you feel yes. that? I will. You know, uh, that audience, do we want Give to the Lord a hand praise? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. This song God gave me, we were in a crusade, and I love when God promotes a song. Watch the word. Promotes a song. When a song and a melody comes from heaven. And 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 what God always does, He promotes the theme. He promotes the river. He promotes the way. Because sometimes we want to sing a war song and God wants us to sing love. Sometimes we think, okay, we're going to do this real cutesy, cutesy, beautiful, uh, I love you song. And God says, that's not where I'm at right now. And I'll tell you why. Because sometimes he needs you to sing exactly what he wants you to sing. And I'll tell you why. One time I was in Korea and he had me sing an African beat. And I was going like, Oh, yeah, no, my God, you're going, yeah, be a man, no, be a na, na. Hey, be a man, so no, na, na, yeah, be a, yeah, 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 Things like this. And I thought, God, they're going to throw me out. But it was because there was a man that was in Korea, out in Kenya, that God spoke and said, You want to know my answer? He says, Right now, without luggage, get a ticket and go to the airport and, and, and fly to Korea they do and he does tall Kenyan man and he goes throughout the he goes throughout the airport after many like 12 hour flight or more and he says he looked at all these Koreans and go is it you you have a word for me and they thought he was crazy so he, for six hours or so he was going throughout the airport looking at everyone is it you you got a word for me is it you and so so he says God it's always getting now getting dark so he decides, maybe it's outside of the airport. So he's walking and walking outside. And then I'm having the orchestra and, and, and 80 
uh, 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 a youth singer singing wow. like oh man na ye bia na mama i be a man na like that and i'm going shama baba go ye bia mama things like that mm -hmm. so i'm going am i playing and i thought how embarrassing they they have an orchestra they're singing so beautifully mm -hmm. and and they're singing just gorgeous things and i'm going ye man na na ye bia na right all of a sudden the doors open because the kenyan man hears an african beat wow and he runs going jesus jesus <laughs> and he comes up to the front and i want to tell him can you sit down yeah. i'm having a crusade here mm -hmm. and he says man of god i did not know you can speak my language what and i said what <laughs> <laughs> he says you were singing in my language and i and he says and god spoke through you and i said what what did when did God speak through me? He says, I had asked God in Kenya, when is it my time? When shall my ministry begin? So God did a prerequisite and wanted him to be obedient to faith. Wow. And when he got to Korea and going through all the streets and heard this, he then heard what I was speaking and he says, what you sang was, yes, my son, for your obedience, now go back to Kenya, wow. for your ministry just began. Hallelujah. So worship is not just singing pretty. Yeah. God is going to use it. Once I was singing and it turned into this music, and God says, I scooped up this your worship. Mm. It was pure. Wow. And I went to Africa. And I poured it upon an AIDS baby that I'm just about to heal with worship that you gave me. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody better give God some praise. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes. Worship is like medicine. Yes. Worship can heal. Worship will deliver. Yes. Worship gives God pleasure. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Give God praise. Yes. So this song, I can tell that the ministry the, the, at that place, that crusade was a large crusade, was going to a higher level. What? So he wanted the people to cry out for more. Oh. And this is the song. Okay.
Lord. You are my to be a little boy in a plastic bubble allergic to almost every food and air things that were carried in the air but there was a man called Dr. O. Robert via television that said if there is someone infirmed place your hand with my hand as a point of contact in the power of agreement and watch how God will touch your infirmity heal your disease right now wherever you are seated place your hand with mine and I'm going to tell you you might call me crazy but the word of God speaks this Find someone to agree with oh, on anything in Jesus' name, and we can consider it done. Place your hand now with mine. 
person that right now is placing their hand with mine. Let there be miracles so unusual. Let them get out of the bed the crippled. Let tumors leave off their bodies. Let the blind see and the deaf hear. Let the lame begin to walk. Father God, I see so many people that have arthritis they have such strong bone conditions oh God I pray in the name of Jesus that they are completely healed as you healed me this way oh God I pray in Jesus name for the lungs respiratory problems be healed in Jesus name I pray in the name of Jesus above all things that Lord your anointing breaks the yoke of all bondages upon their bodies. I give you praise Lord for them. Quiero hablar con ustedes estar escuchándome. Pon tu mano con mi mano. Dios te puede ayudar ahorita con un sanación pero fuerte. Y dice en su palabra de que podemos encontrar a alguien que podemos estar en acuerdo. En ese momento, Dios dice en el nombre de su Cristo que, que nosotros pidemos. Él dice, ya está hecho. Estás conmigo. Estás con Él. En el nombre de Jesús. You know, doctor. I feel the presence of God. We are no longer, I know, we are no longer in the same place when we started. Oh, that's good. We are right now in the ambience of theophany, which means the tangible presence of the Lord. You see where we're on. I'm not speaking of me, but his presence. We are right now in the same as the Catherine Coleman's or the Smith Wigglesworth. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, it still exists. Amen. It still exists. Amen. And I want you to know, this is the hour of the tsunami wave of glory, the power of God to bring breakthrough. A breakthrough in churches, in yeah. breakthrough in cities, yeah. in breakthroughs in states, Amen. in breakthroughs in countries, in nations. I'm telling you right now, the tsunami wave of glory. You know, it's so hot in this, in this, in, I yes. call it sanctuary right now. If you can look, if you can see the cloud of glory. Yes, Amen. 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 And I'm telling you right now, precious saints of God, if I be before God, I'm speaking. Thus saith the Lord. Yes. This is the year of 2019 that God has taken us into the diamond lane. We are just about to go in a quicker way. The unfolding of promises and, and, and are, are happening as we speak. The benefits of heaven are coming down like never before. God has told me that the tsunami wave of glory is going to push out everything that's delayed you. Everything that has stumbled you. God says this is the hour that I'm going to give my people all that they not only need but desire yes. hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah I see this pastor mm. and doctor I see and I want people to listen there is a there is a prophetic call upon those who move in the prophetic what God is doing he's taking watch this he's taking the voice of of men and women and shutting them down mm. Mm. and he's bringing in them an utterance of the Holy Ghost Praise that God. is just about to speak words oracles of heaven Praise that's God. going to change even the government hallelujah God. God, there is a transference there is a transference of position 
Those who had much that didn't do well with it, get, get ready because it's going to be yours. For the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. Yes. No longer is being stored up right now. Yes. We're going to start to see a transference like never before. Somebody better say amen. 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 Hallelujah. That's why I said, Lord, enlighten my eyes. Let me see. Yes, you did. Why would we want to be a, a servant of the Most High God and not know what you're doing? Amen. amen. Or what God is doing. Someone has to understand God is saying to us today that we are right now entering into a, a realm. We're entering into a, not a paradigm, yes. but a realm, a higher realm like never before. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. The Azusa Street, he tells me this. Because I asked him, why do we have the Azusa Street Revival? Why do we have the Pensacola or others? He said, yes. I was testing. <laughs> so I said, what do you mean you were testing? He says, yes. I said, you were testing your glory? He says, no, my son. I was testing the glory holders. Oh, my goodness. He said, many of them began to take ownership and take my glory oh. by writing books about right. what they did for the Azusa to happen. Hallelujah. What Hallelujah. they did to have the glory spout come upon. No, it was God that chose. It was God that brought the election. And when God told me, I'll tell you right now. Please. He said, I have found a people. The election is sure. He said, in all the world, he has already has the generals that are going to come up greater than any man or woman has since. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm going to tell you, how many of you are ready to be used? Yes. How many of you want to be ready, and I call it, in the most unusual way? Yes. Yes. God is opening the eyes of those. And I'm going to pray a prayer for Please. all of us. Let's Please. do that. Yes. If you Please are ready, up. I want you to stand up right now. If you want what God has for you, and I call it in this, this, this year of 2019, yes, it is the diamond lane. It's the unfolding. It's the dispensation of, of much to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'll tell you, church, the way church is, God does not like. He said, the way the church has evolved is not the way I wanted Amen. it to. He says, I'm going to do away with the walls of a church. Oh, yes. He says, I'm going to bring people together. I'm going to bring the black, the white, the brown, the yellow, and the red together. Yes. I'm going to bring every religion down, for religion isn't of me. Yes. I'm going to bring back a relationship like I did in the beginning. And the Lord says, watch what I do, that the people on the streets will, will bow before me. Because the presence shall go as it did in the days of old, saith the Lord. Yes. So I'm telling you right now, if you are wanting the more, just raise your hands. And, and believe with me as I pray. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray right now that you will douse those who have said yes, use me. Douse them with more. Douse them, Father God. Open their eyes that they may see and their ears that they may hear. Father God, I pray right now that, Father, every delay is, is, is completely washed away. That right now there will be no struggle and there will be, no, there will be none that will hold them back, Father God. I ask in Jesus' mighty name that every gift is poured upon them, Father. I pray in Jesus' mighty name. There it is. Glory. They will be the glory holders, Father yes. God. That even if they go to the bank, that as they're on the line, the line will fall in the, fall in the power of God. Hallelujah. As they go visit someone in the hospital, that whole ward will get up and leave, the, Father. Yes. But that's the anointing of today, Father God. It's the anointing that's corporate glory corporate glory father god i ask in jesus mighty name that lord that every prophetic word will come from the throne room father hallelujah, hallelujah. i even thank you father god for this television station hallelujah. i thank you for vision television yes and I pray right now, Isha, that Father satellites upon satellites shall come about, O oh God. And that it shall go throughout every nation, O oh God. And I pray in Jesus the divine favor. For Father, you said that you will empower us to create and receive wealth. Father God, this is the hour yes. for vision, television, all yes. things. Amen. We receive that. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. For it will not come by the way of man. It will not come by the way of what we think. It will come in the way that God says it. He says, I will bring those that need to come. Some will be goats and others shall be sheep. Oh, that's a good one. 
And what he means is that there'll be some that will not be connected, but they shall come and give. Oh, that's good. Hallelujah. You hear that, Dr. J? Amen. Oof. And God says, and there are those called the sheep that they will be amongst and they will be with. Yes. They will work and partner yes. up. But God told me, and I'm not saying this because I know something. I'm just telling what God is saying right yes. now. Yes, amen. What and he's saying, this, there is going to be an explosion <laughs> and it's going to be kinetic. Hmm. It'll not be a domino effect because what's happening here will happen in Australia. Shot. Oh. There'll be simultaneous uh, 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 igni igniting explosions. And, 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 and I'll tell you, God says, watch what I do in this hour. Hallelujah. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. So what do you think? I think you're amazing. Every oh, word I've ever heard has always came to pass. Everybody you ever prayed for yes. has always been healed. God is speaking through you and using Hallelujah. you. I can't wait you to come back Woo. next Friday <laughs> at 7 o'clock uh, West Coast time. Well, I'm excited for that, too. Thank you so much. You want to close this up a quick prayer? only got a couple minutes. Oh, my goodness. Or do you want to sing something? What, what do you, do you guys want, want to do? Sing again. Sing again. Sing again. Sing again. Sing again. Sing again. Yes. But if you sing with me, Amazon, but I know God. Dr. By Dr. Al Fornis. There you go. Thank you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. Good night.